gems. No problem. I'm done here. Any results, Mr. Kunjun? There are many beautiful rocks here, but nothing out of the ordinary. I couldn't... Then again, the memories of ore can shift with the passage of time and the changing of the environment. Hmm. Difficult to say. I feel that ore memory... So there's never any ancient memory? Rocks endure, but as eons pass, their memories are erased. Those memories that survive are... Root that makes sense. It is... Indeed. Let's keep... Such an immense tree! And there's so many mysterious looking crystals up there too! Amazing! This ancient tree... Let's conduct separate investigations. I'll take that area. Perhaps you could survey this... All right then. Kunjun, can you see anything worth investigating? Well, there is this stone... T Doesn't seem very interesting. Huh. It's worth a try, surely. Let me see. Oh. Uh. Oh. This is... Hey, what's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. It's past, not... Uh, whatever. Paimon's going to investigate over... If you don't try, you won't know. Anyway, you'll be able to get a good look at our surroundings from up there. Uh. Oh, um, y you think so? Where has Paimon ever come up with a bad idea? Hmm? Wait a minute. Paimon can fly. Uh, All of you, come here. Huh? Zhongli's voice came from behind the tree. Quick, let's go see. Maybe he found... <laughs> huh. Wouldn't gliding be faster? This has been newly dug. It would appear our answer is up. Is that a voice coming from the tunnel? <laughs> Compose yourselves. I will lead. Hmm. There is an unusual presence emanating from inside the tunnel. Prepare yourselves and trip. I'm afraid that this whole tunnel is the fruit of their strenuous labor. Huh? That gate? Has it been there all along? Digging a tunnel to this ancient seal. Had they not been discovered, they would undoubtedly persevere. To the gate. <laughs>
use your power in combat, but if you recall, Ishtaha, this is not how we intended for events to transpire. What is not your words? Your life is mine! should call it by its name, Ejdaha. Fate. Fate? Fate? <laughs> so here lies the wisdom of the gods. Destroy all deemed redundant. Endless tyrants to ravage the wilderness. No. You have forgotten. That... that voice! Ejdaha. It's been a while. Yeah. You're... 
Ejdaha. The very same. During the battle, you imbued us with your power. <laughs> yes. It was all I could manage. Forgive me for concealing the truth, Traveler. There were things that only became clear to me upon reaching this tree. Allow me to elaborate. I am not Ejdaha the Whole, but a fragment. Heaven and Earth, Yin and Yang, opposing forces. You can consider the existence of me and the Ejdaha you see there to be a reflection of such polarities. We are a schism of the will. The will of Ejdaha. So, so there are two Ejdahas? No, it can't be. That's impossible. When the seal loosened, your power manifested in this world as a child. With this new identity, you were able to vent about the forces that suppressed you. That's when it occurred to you. The loosening of the seal constituted an opportunity to strike back. Kidnapping the miners was all- The audacity! Are you insane? If you truly are a- I was another power awakened with the loosening of the seal. Too weak to re- I was barely conscious. I couldn't remember who I was. Only the past would elicit a reaction from me. I had sensed that something was amiss when you mentioned Dragonfall. Had your power been but a little stronger, I would have recognized you. Don't blame yourself. I have changed beyond all recognition. It's been so long. A secret beyond all comprehension of youthful humanity and ancient dra- There would be no harm in it. That it- <laughs> You haven't changed. Ejdaha was once a friend and ally of the Geo Archon Morax, with a lifespan far exceeding that of mankind. However, that which is derived of the Earth is no more or less than the Earth itself. The memories of rocks do not last long. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion. But erosion ground Ejdaha's consciousness into oblivion. Slowly, he forgot the fit Ejdaha. Now incomplete, became- What would you expect? It was humanity that attacked the ley lines that sustained me! This much is true. Which is why you attacked the chasm. Why you waged war against Morax. In the beginning, in order to open up new territory and increase production, the citizens of Liyue came to the mountains to mine. Overexploitation caused the ley lines to quake. Erosion made us even more savage. No matter how we struggled, we lost. Morax shared with us some of his power to prevent further erosion. But it was futile. Everything re And so, we became you. And from your will, I am- <sighs> I am your final contract. Witness the promise between Ejdaha and Mo- No! No! I am the remnants of Ejdaha's benevolence. The echo of a contract set in stone. I harbor a willingness to go further. A willingness to- No, no! This is I, Ejdaha! Forged of elemental crystal, bearer of the weight and memories of the Earth, older than the mountains and the oceans that decides! I will not- Morax is not- A lord over insects is nothing but an insect in turn. You forgot yourself. Nobody held Morax in higher regard than you or I. That which you have forgotten, I hold here in my heart. All powers under heaven rise and fall of land and- A star appears within the wild. A sun ascends as bright as- mm. Strange. What? You are spent. 
and I will soon disappear. In the wilderness, snow falls on a spring day. In an instant, it will melt. Even- No! That isn't true! I- Perhaps it isn't, but it remains. More axe! The little girl vanished! Are you satisfied, Ishtaha? I had to make amends. Satisfaction. So, Morax. I do. Well, I'm afraid old habits die hard. As you please. I never did forget your gift of sight. I hardly lifted a finger. Think. And yet, you could see. You wouldn't know the yearning of a blind dragon searching for the sun. <sighs> Your power is nearly spent. Ah. Uh, Shall we get going? You and- Surely the pressing matter is still that of the miners trapped out- Indeed. Hence the need to get going. Hmm. Straight down to- So there you are. My men and I found your clues. We found Mao in a tent at the campsite unconscious. Huh? Young Kun, what? Nothing. Pay it no mind. Those three miners are over cave. What happened? They're exhausted, but not in danger. Uh, right. Well, thank you, all of you. So you're taking them back to Liyue Ho- That's right. Can I come with you? No problem. You rescued my men. I'll be happy to assist all of you in- Kun Jun, uh, uh, we should be calling you Ezda. You- Not I. Merely this body. Once I'm gone, the true owner will accompany the miners back to Liyue. Kun Jun hails from a family of famous artisans. He too will be famous. You always did have a great admiration for blacksmith. Curious how swords and daggers are blind. Yet their creators see so much. Ejdaha. I can sense it. Today I am just an ordinary citizen of Li- Even you met such a fate. <sighs> Let's get- No matter. If that day comes to pass, Liyue must prepare itself to face you. And how will Liyue fare without Rex Lapis? Even without a god above, this remains a nation of men. I was once their god. All life is shaped and then ground away by the endless flow of t That's unimportant. Fate is ordained by heaven. You may live forever, doomed to a lonely existence. Yet, even this... I do not pretend to match your rhetoric when it comes to the subject of a life long lived. I fear that... Were it not so, you would have killed me long ago. You've brought a smile to my face. When all is said, that day in the chasm. A heart of stone is a heart nonetheless. But I am the god of contracts, and was for a time. You chose justice, but did not forsake your kindness. You came. The movements of the earth dragon can tremble the earth and shake the heavens. With your abilities, even at my full strength, I. Hence, my. Do not forget that I was there with Liwa's founder. The face, old friend. God. <sighs> Thank you, Aishda. My life is nigh on eternal. I will go on with the infinite flow of time. And you... <sighs> You're leaving? If it is fated, Morax, we will meet again. Yes, don't be alarmed. He's only a. Whoa, that was so. In fact, we have yet to meet the re. He was. Centuries may have passed since then, but events from a th.
In our last tale, Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountains. He heard a remote voice, unlike any other, coming from a crack in the earth. Most of the ancient Geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. The voice was sometimes sad and song like. Other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes, quicker than words could tell, lightning flashed and thunder roared, and a living, breathing dragon soared into the clouds. I agreed to let him live among the people above ground. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made way at the sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater blessing the ground. A thousand years ago, Ejdaha attacked the chasm. I tried to obstruct him, fighting him tooth and nail down the length and breadth of the mine. Finally, I brought him down. During that battle, Dragonfall was born. Ejdaha could sense the stone. Sub despite being the victor, I could not claim to be stronger than he, and in his heart, he still retained an ounce of goodwill towards me. He was willing to be sealed away. But as the erosion set in, even I cannot avoid it. But there is something I understand better than most. The greater the power, the greater the danger erosion may bring about. The millennia may come and go, but even a stone may tire. Personally sealing away an old friend People abandon and surrender the things they love to pursue the right, but I was a god of mankind. My identity may change. You still care a lot about- Call it. I must thank you both. No worries! Oh? About what? Oh yeah! So, not- He told us about Conria and the punishment of the gods. That's when we realized that those events we're connected to the person we're searching for. Zhang Li, you're a god. You've lived through thousands of years of history. Surely... Hmm. Uh... I cannot say. Why? You can't even give us a thread of information? I understand. But I must apologize. This is my contract. You mean... Another past grievance? Like the incident with Ejda? Too painful to talk about? It was signed before it all began. I have always honored the contract. And kept my silence. How can you be like that? You two are friends to me. I can assure it brings me no pleasure to disappoint you. But as the god of contracts, I cannot go back on my word. Would you be ready to find out? It appears your understanding of this world continues to grow. There are many events of ages past. Many secrets that lie hidden. They have been eroded by time. 
forgotten by the people, but you are capable of finding them and bringing them into the light. Those who come to witness will witness. Those who are born to remember will remember. If you take the same road as that person, there may be more difficulties ahead. But as long as you firmly believe that you are on the right path, 